Now, the methods that we've used so far, looking at tables, sketching graphs by hand, work very well when our solutions are nice, small integers. But what if we have a system that looks something like this? Looking at this system of equations, I don't really want to carefully draw a graph of this system. I don't want to draw a graph that goes out to negative 250 on the y-axis, for example. I don't want to draw a graph that shows both of the intercepts of these points. And I don't expect that if I drew such a graph, my point of intersection would show up nicely. Instead, I can solve this system by graphing on the calculator. My first step is to solve each equation for y. Here I've been given my second equation solved for y already, so I only need to do anything to the first equation. I'll subtract 0.3x from both sides, and I'll divide both sides by 0.12. And I could distribute that division if I really wanted to, but I don't really want to. Instead, I'm just going to enter each equation on the calculator. So, first equation. I've got negative 0.3, I'll put in the zero to make it easier to read, 0.3x plus 240 all over 0.12. Second equation, I've just got 2x minus 250. Now, when I just hit graph, I don't see anything. Why not? Well, this has its y-intercept down at negative 250. I think we need to set our window, and here's how. I'm going to take a guess at what range my x value will appear in, and I'm going to go to Window and enter my guess. I really have no idea with this equation, but I suspect it's going to be a big number. So I'm going to say like negative 1,000 to 1,000. Okay, how do I figure out what y's go with that? I'm going to have the calculator figure out what y's go with that. I'm going to hit the zoom button, and I'm going to scroll all the way down to zero zoom fit. You can also get this by just pressing the zero key. What this does is it says, okay, I see what x values you want. I'm going to give you whatever y values make your graph fit on the screen. So I hit enter. And I do see where my lines cross on the screen. If you don't see your lines cross on screen, that means you have to try a different guess. Change your guess, go back to 3, and start from there. If you do see the lines cross on the screen, you're going to use the feature on your calculator called Intersect. We're going to press 2nd and then Trace to get what's called the Calc menu. And we're going to choose option 5, which is Intersect. OK. Now, notice what it says. It's showing me the equation I entered for y1, and it says first curve. Now, we're working with straight lines here, but we could work with any graph, some of which are curved. So in general, they're all curves. I'm going to pick my first equation for my first curve. So just hit Enter. My second equation, right, here's my y2. I'm going to pick that for my second curve. And the last thing it asks me for is a guess. Notice I have a little flashing X thingy here. I'm going to move that over to be kind of close to where the lines cross. And now I hit Enter. And it says intersection. X equals 500. 
y equals 750. And that pair is the solution to my system. I claim that the solution is x equals 500, y equals 750. Let's make sure that really worked. 0.3 times 500 plus 0.12 times 750. 3 times 500 plus 0.12 times 750 oops is 240 and 750 does it equal 2 times 500 minus 250 yes it does so that solution really really works in my original equation what the calculator is doing is essentially just solving by graphing the way that we were before but the calculator is good at graphing really really quickly